explain but, to you people know, what the black mat is. Yeah, the black mat is the again kind of the visible signature of the event. It is not always apparent. Sometimes it's only apparent in the geochemistry and things that you can't. So this see is below anything. ground, right? It's a it layer is, of earth. That's right, man. If you go and do a face of soil and dig a trench and look at that side, you're going to see the history of that soil. But out west, you can find places where you go down two or three meters and you've gone down 10, 13,000 years and it has been accumulating at a relatively steady rate ever since. If this impact hypothesis happened and it's we have global evidence of this, right? It's not just mm -hmm. in Carolina. There's stuff all over the planet showing that this was most likely something that happened globally, which probably caused massive destruction, massive extinction of megafauna, Human beings probably had a very difficult time surviving. If they, if, they just, if they survived the impact, they probably had a very difficult time surviving the aftermath of this. Do we have numbers on like how many people we think survived around that time and like where humanity gained numbers again after this? Like We're just able to in, interpolate. If actually, I don't want to get too much on the, the shares and the show and tell, but uh, if you'll go to my website and you, get, you hit that drop down where you can see the PowerPoints people can go see, mm -hmm. then a couple of key slides that show the change from the Clovis points to the redstone points, their technology changes. At 12,800, you don't see any more Clovis points. And in fact, the next spear point that you see the redstones in the east, when graphed out in occurrence, they're many, many fewer for a long time. 